I'm about to do something stupid. All right, hey everybody. Welcome back to Spoon FPV. So today, I have for you a special treat. I went into my shop and I found a bunch of uh, well, magnetic powder. This is a magnet and there's a bunch of, you see all that stuff. And if you're like me, you're thinking, man, you probably should keep that away from your motors. Well, I'm gonna teach you a little trick. So I've taken a motor that I've retired. I'm not 100% that this is gonna work, but this is retired because these kind of, the uh, it came out, these screws came out and these got twisted. So basically it's, it's, it's junk anyhow, but the, this part uh, spins freely, right? So we know that this is gonna, this is a functional part of the motor, at least if the windings aren't screwed up, but I'm gonna take the magnetic dust that we got here. Oh, you can't see that, this magnetic dust. And I'm gonna put my motor in it. Hmm, how can I get this in there? Let's put this motor together. I've, I've, taken the, I've taken the screw out of the bottom of this so that we can pull it apart and put it together here in one shot. So, you know, you can see that it spins relatively freely. I'll pull this guy apart. I'll suck up some dirt, some magnetic dust here. Oh yeah, I don't know if you, can you see that? That's, that's pretty nasty in there. Let's see if you can see that. That's, that's pretty nasty in there. And you can't really get the stuff out. Like you need, uh, let me grab a paper towel or something so you can see me try and get it out the normal way. Wow, you, you're gonna try and clean it out. This is the way that I used to clean them out and you just can't get all of it, so. I'm gonna get the majority of it here, like this. Oh yeah, and that's awful. There's dust still all in there. I mean, you got a lot of it off of the paper, paper towel. And now if I put this back together, it's probably still not gonna spin because these things have such tight tolerances that, oh yeah, it is like locked with dust. Like that's a pretty representative sample. So. What's the trick? So we pull them apart on at the field. This stuff. This is um, well. This is magic putty or like silly putty or whatever. If you don't know what silly putty is, it's the stuff that when you were a kid you put on the on a news. Well, a newspaper is uh, I, whatever. It's like play-doh. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull off. I'm gonna pull off a little piece of this. I got the clear stuff. That's why I got the magic putty. So the silly putty, so you can actually see it. So it's it's nice and clear, um, and we'll be able to see the actual. You can see a lot of grit in there. So you just take this stuff and you grab yourself a little piece, you roll it around in there. And like look at all that stuff that's just come that it sucks right out of the motor. So everything that's in there, you just roll it around and this will suck up the majority of that magnetic dust that's in there. And you'll be able to get back in the air in a little bit after doing this. Come on. Alright, so I think I got it clean enough. I'm gonna put, I mean you can look at, I mean, it was clear and now it's black. Like that's all the magnetic dust and stuff in, like suspended in there. So I'm gonna put this back on and see if it turns freely. And look at that. Gets us back up in the air. So um, one thing that I did that was a huge mistake was I I took and wiped it out with the paper towel to show you an example of of how I used to do it, which is like you can't get everything or like you try to do it, you, um, and that just shoved it all into the cracks in there. So don't do that. Just go straight to the silly putty. Um, just yeah. So just go straight to the silly putty and. You know, the, for the bigger pieces, couldn't get all of those out. I basically, by Silly Putty alone, I'd put the piece of putty on there, and then I'd put my uh, screwdriver in there and push the bigger pieces into the putty. But, I mean, the putty picks them up and maintains them so that you can get the stuff out of there. But, yeah, that's like the, that's the worst you'd ever see is, like, maybe your motor bell fell off in a machine shop or something and landed in the pile of you know, fine tailings or whatever, but it, yeah, like, and even that was able to be fixed so that the thing could spin again. 
So it's not completely cleaned out and then, you know, but that's just because I pushed it all into there. But it's still, it's still good enough that it could get back in the air. And with a little bit more effort, I could get the rest of it out. But you can save it with a little bit of Silly Putty. I'll put a link for... I got the clear stuff. I don't know. I, I bought this at Walmart or whatever. But I got it so that you could see just how much was coming out. I, I'll put a link in the description for Silly Putty. Please support me by using the affiliate link that I'll use. But if you choose not to use the affiliate link, I'll put it in a link right next to it that doesn't support my channel and it will cost you the exact same amount so you choose which one you want to use because you know I, I I don't want to make you use an affiliate link if you if you think that that's if you have a problem with it so anyway that's going to be my new thing on affiliate links so you know I hope you found this useful I hope that I, I know that you know magic putty silly putty whatever it's going to go in my in my uh, toolbox from now on so hit that like hit that subscribe button share this with your friends let them know that that it works so and you know if you get stuck on your magnet like this you can also use the there's no way to get it off but if you use the silly putty you just roll it right over there and it comes right off of your magnet as well so uh, if you're a magnet person like that's how you can get that's how you can clean up magnets is with a little bit of silly putty and it works inside of a motor belt too all right have a good one spoon out